Alright. A little bit of equipment juggling to go from PS4 to PC. tell me spoilers, it doesn't bother me, because it's... having someone tell you is not the same as experiencing it, but I guess watching a stream of it would be experiencing it, so that would be a real spoiler. I don't want to go Nightmares, since this is my first East game, but... in between one of these two. Probably also change... yeah. Update information. Alright, new information for new game. And I guess let's go hard. Lights and darkness, a disturbed and chaotic era. Careful with that thing, Link's gonna sue somebody. find out. I usually play games on the hardest difficulty they have at the start, but when it's called Nightmare and it's got four difficulty settings to start with, and also because it's such an old, like this is like the third or fourth re-release of this game, I assume they're putting Nightmare there at the beginning for people who have played it before, which I haven't. That's what I'm saying, like, this game has been re-released so many times, I'm pretty sure they put Nightmare on there for people who have played it before. Like, it was probably an unlockable difficulty in the earlier releases. the ginger protagonist all this time and actually making it work. Yeah, so nightmare difficulty is like must be able to speedrun this game.
good. You're awake. Don't strain yourself now. Your body is covered in bruises. So, you still hurting anywhere? Adol checked himself over. There was some pain, but nothing debilitating. Get some rest. You're in a clinic in Barbado Port. Hey, Dad, is the stranger awake yet? Ah, Schlaff, you're early. How did the meeting go? Same as always, no real progress. Well, the patient's only just woken. Glad to see you back among the living. Ah, yes, where's my manners? My name is Bluto. I own and operate this clinic. This is my son, Slav. Found you collapsed on the beach and brought you here. He drove off the ray bull that attacked you. It was a real close call. Adel told Slav his name and expressed his gratitude. Adel, eh? Good name. Don't recognize you, though. Where are you from? Adel explained that he journeyed from Promalok to Esteria by boat. A word, you came from overseas. Not French, are you? Amazing, you're the first man I know of to get past the storm wall. What do you think you what do you, yeah. what do you two think you're doing? Uh oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. I think that's a song lyric. I'll chew you up, Slav. You keep making comments like that. Man's wounded, you know. Should you leave him be? He needs his rest. That's my Isla. Always keeping us in check. Make a good point, my dear. Yeah, okay, I'll stop talking his ear off. Press up, Adel. But know this, I'm not done with you yet. Dum, dum, dum. With the clinic's care, Adel recovered quickly. Several days later. So beaten and bruised and dropped off from storm wreck. A couple of days later, and he's running around in full plate armor. His doctors are not keeping a good eye on him. I mean, you still have to wear something under full plate mail. I don't know, the original kind of feels a little jazzier. This one, this one used to do one. Tip-top shape now. Still, you should probably take it easy for a bit, just in case. Well, suppose a walk around town could do you some good. Just don't overexert yourself. Like wearing plate armor. For a boy your age, to have slept so soundly, you must have quite a story to tell. 
Battle the Portside Warehouse has become home base for the town's militia. So that should be there. I can answer any questions you might have. Just be careful not to do too much too soon. Listen, Adam, there are monsters outside town, so don't push your luck, okay? Fortunately, we're out of the red digitalis plant needed to make the herbs. Still, you shouldn't need any while you're in town, right? You don't know that. I'm sure someone's got a rabid Rottweiler or something running around. Well now, who might you be? I see. So you're the young man that Dr. Bluto has been looking after. Must have been through a lot. But you're looking very well. That's Bluto for you. I'm a ghost! You can see me through the house! change when he goes over stone? Huh. Six months ago, monsters started showing up in the North Road. As a result, I haven't seen my friends in Minia for quite some time. I wonder how they're doing these days. If the ships are all grounded, there's no work to be had at the harbor anymore. I've been hoping to branch out into the silver trade, but that didn't exactly work out either. Bad luck all around. These little critters are called pickers. have been raised as livestock here for generations. Meat is absolutely delicious, but they're real easy prey for monsters, so we raise them here where nothing can hurt them but us. So, pickers are pigs. Six months ago, huge trade ships were coming in constantly and Barbado was flourishing. These days all we do is fish, 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 and learn for the way things were. Sounds safe, but at the end, he may just be kidding himself. Rather than live in fear of a monster attack, wouldn't it be better to ever eat in Barbado to move to Minia? Hey, mister, did you come from the mainland? Isn't the store wall really neato? I hope it stays forever. If there it goes away, the girl next door will have to leave with her family. This is the town where I was born and raised. That's my home. Do you consider leaving this place? My child's safety is paramount, so perhaps Midia, with its city wall, really is the place to be. I'm trying to get past you, I don't want to talk. There, now I need medicine. The dog bit me. My daddy always talks about leaving Asteria. Why would I leave when I have so many good friends here? One time, Barbado was swimming in traders like my husband, but they all tried to go home and got swallowed up by the storms. I'm just grateful to have my family here with me, though. That's enough to keep me happy. I came here because I heard I could make a tidy profit in the local silver trade. Now I just want to go home. Damn Stormwall. Made stormy progeny all suffer uncomfortable bloating. That is probably the most dad insult I've ever heard.
Well, if it is now, you okay to be moving around like that? Every time I stopped by, you were sound asleep. You must have been exhausted. So, heard any murmurings overseas about Asteria? Love to know what people are saying about us. I told Slaffy he'd heard the land was cursed. Cursed, huh? That's not really true, but it's also not too far off. Guess we can't count on any support from the outside. If they think we're cursed over here, we gotta take action. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot, but I'll gladly answer any questions I can. Ask away. Beto is the only port town in Asteria. It used to just be a small fishing village until silver was discovered nearby, and then it boomed overnight. But ever since the storm walls showed up, no ships can get in or out. Our exporting days are over. So now it's just a fishing village again, for the time being anyway. At least everyone got some money from all the silver trade while it lasted, I guess. Asteria is a small island country. There are only a few towns here, Barbado, the walled city of Minia, and Zepic Village in the mountains. Not long ago, there was also a town called Rastin, but it got wiped out by monsters after the mine closed. The place where I found you is called Whitehorn Beach. Mother of Pearl pieces wash ashore there. Great place for a stroll, safe from monsters everywhere. What else? Oh yeah, Darn Tower. Asteria's claim to fame, sort of. This seems to kiss the clouds, doesn't it? On clear days, you can see it all the way up to Promolar. There are other touristy spots, but they've been infested with monsters ever since the storm all showed up. The damn thing really made life difficult for us. It appeared, let's see, about six months or so ago? First storm started on a night when some trade ships carrying silver set out from Barbado. Buffeted by the storm, ships were obliterated. Lost ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. I first thought it was an isolated incident, but the same fate's been met by every other ship since. That's how the storm wall got its start. Now, we Asterians are pretty much trapped here. Most people just kind of resign themselves to their fate. Me? I'm too stubborn for that. The storm wall appeared, monsters came with it. That's what attacked you that day on the beach. We call that particular speech he used the Rebel. Monsters first appeared on the road up to the mountain, but they began attacking the villages soon after. Barbado in particular was hit pretty badly. Minia seemed just as vulnerable, but they've got that wall around them, so they're much more secure. Zepic was spared too, somehow. Supposedly kept the monsters out with some kind of mystic bell. We have nothing of the sort here, though, so we have to take up arms and defend the town ourselves. I do not. Okay. Thing says I don't have any armor on when I clearly do. Shenanigans. Always packed. I hate of being poor, I just really hate being bored all the time. That stunning red hair. You must be I don't know. Dr. Pluto told me all about you. You can see we're on a bit of a break right now. Stormwall's not conductive to tourism, you see. Ha 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 ha! 
Watch out for the blue-headed demons out in the field. Be careless and you'll be dead. You're only human after all. If you're not sure about your chance of survival, run away. Run like the winds. Ships are all grounded. There's no work to be at. I already, read, I already talked to you. Go away. Go away. Still missing two people. Slap risking, aren't you? Fine red hair like yours is certainly a rarity here. We watch the surrounding area from here. That way, if the demons try to mount an attack, we can see them coming and get ready for it. Do I attempt to leave? Six is cat turned by its trajectory and at the angle of impact. Head on strike will likely cause that to take damage, but the enemy is struck off center or for an odd angle attack will prove successful. Enemy self be struck from behind the side, cold over some resistance. No this technique can backfire. The battle is pitted against the enemy with a large amount of health since it will quickly turn to face its attacker. Okay, so I'm not supposed to leave the town yet.
retrospect, I probably should have saved before I got out of town. So now I gotta talk to everybody again. I think I'm supposed to buy some equipment, but the weapon shop is locked. That's everything. So we've caught up with all the talking and everything else. Alright. Now we just need to figure out what the hell is the trigger to advance.
gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, look at these speedrun strats. I'm not fighting anything. I'm gonna say... The instructions said that if you attack them from behind to the side, it would be fine. That was a lie. I took damage. Of course, I'm also just punching. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I've talked to everybody in town. I don't have a sword. The sword shop is closed. Fighting monsters with your fists doesn't go too well. Okay, I don't know what the trigger for that was, but he didn't give me that option before. This is my place, I know that. I skipped a lot of his dialogue already, but I'll start it from here. This is my place, I know that. But it's not yours. Now, Destiny's got bigger things in mind for you, definitely. Anyway, when you leave here, go north. I'm just a hop, skip, and jump away from India. Minnie is Asteria's largest city. I'm sure to find some useful information there. Oh yeah, and take this with you. Consider it a parting gift. All of us militants carry these. They're small, but they get the job done. I haven't got much in the way of armor. There's a good shop for that in Minia. Be sure to stop by when you can. Take care, and if you come around again, drop in. Alright, now I think I can actually fight something. turn out any better.
Wait, I'm a moron. I didn't equip the sword. Remember, you get okay. Remember, remember, old school RPG. They're not gonna do things like that for you. Yeah, I was. That's what I'm saying. It's like old school RPG. You have to remember, they're not gonna do anything for you. Hey, look, I don't take damage for hitting them now. Oh, that time I did. Looks like three hits from that thing and I'm dead. Heal me. <sighs> Still can't get any medicine. All right. I guess we can farm this guy for a little bit. Center. very odd battle system. I almost feel like I'm playing Super Meat Boy.
still not exactly sure when I'm hitting off center or not. It seems like even when I hit off center, I'm still taking damage. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, there's a lot of these where I swear I'm hitting them off-center like it wants me to, and I'm still taking damage. Gate, 750 Melier, South, Barbado Port, 5 Primelier. See, at this point, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing they are distance, but I was also wondering if that was population. Mysteria, correct? Did you come here by crossing the storm wall? Goddesses, thank you. I've waited so long for this day. You are the one whom I've been seeking. Please, get your equipment in order, then return here at once. I must beg a favor of you. I mean, you don't know that. They might do the census every ten years, maybe some kids were born. There might have been five last time they checked. Often tells me Asterian fairy tales. My favorite one is the one about the silver sword used to defeat the army of monsters a long time ago. I'm, I'm sure I'll be finding a silver sword then. I'm very fortunate to have Dr. Klaus in our city. His potions really hit the spot. Anytime there's an emergency, he's always there in a flash. He's a true hero to us all. I saw this really sculpted, scrumptious looking man the other day. Real debonair, too, with his black cape. And when he looked at me, I swear I was scared out of my mind. His eyes were almost inhuman. It sounds like someone that needs some stabbing with a sober sword. A day like this, the weather is good. You can see Dawn Tower clear as anything from the town's ramparts. It's amazing that our ancestors were able to build a tower that stretches up beyond the clouds. I guess... I guess scrumptious and sculpted aren't mutually exclusive. 
lobster started attacking, a lot of people moved here from Reston and Barbado Port. And yeah, Mini is protected by walls. We can't just shut ourselves away in here. We gotta fight back. Minia has an ancient history. Supposedly its walls were built a very long time ago. It's like a miracle that people back then could build huge stone ramparts like these. Yeah, it's just math. It's all math. I've got some very good swords here. Same kinds of militia members use. But I've also got even better swords for real combat. Why not take a peek? Regrettably, the tall war is from the Far East. The storm walls made restocking most difficult. The ship it washed ashore, I hear, but it's still being cataloged. There may be delays. My apologies. This is false advertising. I demand a tall war for free. Long sword is well suited to combat, befitting a true swordsman. Its workmanship is top class. That sounds like double what I have. No, oh, I want to cancel. Canceling my order. Canceling my order. Getting one star on Yelp. luxury, but defense is an absolute necessity. As such, proper armor is vital. They say the best defense is a good offense, but the situation gets ugly, offense won't matter one whit. So you were actually dealing with punching everything and taking damage while you punched them? Reflex armor is the crowning jewel of my inventory. It's a light leather armor treated with resin. 5,000 gold. No thank you. Plate mail. Plate mail is made of numerous interlocking metal plates, heavy, but it offers unparalleled offense. It's also what it looks like I'm wearing right now, even though I'm not. No, I don't have 2,000. Chain mail. It's made of knitted chain, easy to move around in, and well ventilated so as not to slow cook its wearer. That sounds affordable. Shields made of reinforced wood. It's light and easy to use. It sounds like a buckler. I need two golds. No wait. 32 golds. Damn it. I need 32 gold to get a shield. Since the silver mine on the mountain was closed, the cost of everything has risen so dramatically. Still, it's not like we could actually sell any of our silver goods, what with the storm wall and all. Damn inflation! Right, equip. My mother and grandfather say they got to go back to their old home. They look so sad about it. Bats that come out from the mine at twilight aren't normal. They ferociously attack both humans and livestock. They were the primary culprits in the destruction of Rassin. We used to live in Rassin Village until the monsters raised it to the ground. Anyway... Quit blocking the door. Well, I mean, you're getting experience at the same time. You have to grind in these old games anyway. Hey you. Hey you. You look suspicious. Hey, in our town's fortune teller super duper beautiful. 
the other side of the northern pass, there's a huge bowl-shaped crater known as Bagu Baded. It seems to be where the thieves are coming from. I guess they made their hideout there. I am Rhea, a poet and troubadour. My priceless silver harmonica has been stolen, and I don't know what to do. I value it nearly as much as my own life. Okay. It's, uh... Might want to sort out your priorities. My father is a mayor of Zepic Village to the north. Lately he's been a little preoccupied with something though. Last time I saw him he was all like, the villagers mustn't hear of this. Please, if you go to Zepic Village, would you talk to him for me? You must not go to the mine. Monsters there are extremely powerful. You'll be killed for certain. It's fortunate for us that they never venture outside. Where it is, they can't stand daylight. Before the monsters showed up, we used to always play under a huge tree in the plains. We can't do that now. Grown ups won't let us go outside the city walls anymore. these parts, are you? I'm from the mainland myself, but I get trapped in this lousy island by the storm wall. I think I can cut you a good deal, since you're a fellow foreigner. Myself in Barbado. I keep trying to tell her to move in with me since it's so much safer inside the city walls, but she won't listen. Yeah. What for the for the wing or the mirror? to the mine. It's been quite busy in here ever since the monsters started showing up. People are always getting hurt. Black Klaus wants to make a house call in Septic Village since they have no medical facility or staff there. Okay, I think I'll uh, let Batman handle it. Is this just to look at the tower? Looks like the 
haven't seen a one-eyed man around. His name is Donus. Damn fool, he's down and out right now. Somebody's been neglecting his work and he's run off somewhere to boot. Guessing that's the guy that ran out of town. Didn't see where he went though. Anyway, let's get ourselves a shield. We need to get up to... how much was it? 700? Bought that heal potion. God damn it. Wait. I got killed in two hits and I have armor now. What the fuck, game? I had armor now. Now I gotta go back and do all this crap again. What was the point of buying the armor? I died in less hits than when I didn't have it. it. Took three hits to kill me before I put on armor. Okay. See, now I gotta talk to all these people again, because I don't know what's the story trigger. I'm still gonna do it anyway since there's there's like a notebook that has everybody in it. So for completion sake, I'm, for completion's sake, I'm still gonna talk to everybody. Oh wow, I didn't I didn't even come in here before. I used to work in the silver mine. Six months ago, tunnels were overrun by monsters. It's all because of those damn doom dim dumb monsters that I got I got nothing to do but drinking up and out. Mysterious foremost tour guide. Or at least I used to be. I had a blast of Stormwall and all the monsters that driven me right out of business. There was once an odd old man who wanted to tour the mountain ruins. This was before the Stormwall. He seemed to be a scholar and said he planned to investigate in Darm Tower. I hope he's okay. He visited the fortune teller's house. Maybe young, but she's good. You never need her advice or guidance. She can always set you on the right path. Bit of favoritism towards these three guys, sword from the rest of the bar. They get a portrait. Ah, new face. Once did you come, sir? Barbado, you say? Ah, oh, you're allowed to cross the storm wall then. Heard about you from members of Barbado militia when they came here on their rounds. Sorry if I sounded a bit suspicious when I asked where you were from. Lately, there have been a lot of break ins, so I thought maybe you were casing my establishment. Name's Garrett. Been hired by the city to track down those dirty thieves. You have a drink with me? Sure, why not? Ain't learned much about the crooks, but I did find out that long ago they were rotor trees in Asteria. Never heard of a rotor tree before. It seems to said to be one of the finest delicacies in the world. Love to taste one just once before I die. Don't suppose you've come across any, have you? Okay, so you want some rotor tree seed. Would you hear out a humble patron of this fine watering bowl? Sure. Somewhere in this general area, I lost a beautiful sapphire ring I'd purchased as a gift for my wife. Without it, I feel as if I can't face, face her. Damn little thieves. I wager this one's there doing. Okay, so his sapphire ring is in the pawn shop. Welcome. Oh my, 
Hi, stranger. Don't worry, traveler. The city of Minnie is safe haven from the monsters. You have nothing to worry about here. Yeah, this is good stuff. You know that harmonica playing poet girl who hangs around up on the ramparts? She's real purdy. That song of hers is real purdy. It's mesmerizing. Haven't heard it in a while, though. Okay, this is the fortune teller. Thirsty housewife. Mayor. Buy our worthless armor that does nothing. So he's going north. Talk to you. You lost your harmonica. Thieves at the north in a bowl shaped crater. Catch where that tree was, kid. How much was the sapphire ring? A thousand. Okay, so we need a thousand to give the guy in the bar the sapphire ring. Basically 1700 total.
Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Last thing we need is one crit hit to just destroy us. have enough to go by the ring for the guy. the ring. my ring at the pawn shop and you brought it back? Thank you so much. Now I can actually face my wife again. I can't offer you much in turn, but you have no idea what this means to me. So please, take this. Add will receive 1,500 gold. So that's, uh... 50% more than I paid. Adel's a dick! Just, if, he, if this guy had 1500 he could have just said, like, hey man, your, your ring's over at the pawn shop, it's a thousand, instead of accepting a reward for 1500 It's breaking the bro code, man. Because he didn't know it was in the pawn shop. That's what I'm saying, like, that guy didn't know the ring was in the pawn shop, and he just gave me 1500 for it when I spent a thousand. Like, Adel's a dick. At the very least, he should have given him back the 1500 and been like, no, no, it's... it was only a thousand. That's totally breaking the bro code. How much is the middle shield? 2000. So 
So is level the level two of everything two thousand? Upgrade, so the next tier is 6,000. That's gonna be a lot of those little blue goblins. It's gonna be a small genocide of those little blue goblins. shield added to my attack power. Yeah, 100% feels like the shield upped my attack power. These guys are dying in like one less hit than they did before. Did I? Oh yeah, I did level. I didn't even notice. Is there not an indicator? I didn't hear like a chime or see like a level up or anything. Does it just happen and not tell you? Huh. That answers my question. How come I didn't notice it the first time? Yeah, this is kind of feeling like I've turned into the Juggernaut now. Someday, these little blue goblins will be talking about the great genocide of uh, Minia Town. know if his hair was red naturally or if it was the blood of his enemies. I can see why they made the off-center hit so small because uh, yeah apparently once you buy a couple upgrades and level once it doesn't even matter anymore.
I mean, I would hope they are a massive increase in power, considering how much of a massive increase in price they are. murder these guys until we have enough for the sword. I'm pretty sure you're not even supposed to be getting any of the second tier stuff to continue on. I may be wrong, but... Increase in damage. Let's go sell the short sword. You mean I don't have anything? To... Can you not sell equipment? doesn't change. Should have gotten longer. Yeah, let's kill enough, just enough to level again. I was specifically sold a long sword, and it's the same size as a short sword. And he doesn't even have a Talwar. Like, where is the better business bureau on this shopkeeper? I would feel bad about killing dogs, but there's no better business bureau. There might not be any ASPCA either. But I should be okay. This is where I came in, right? Yeah. 
What's the point of having a bridge to here? I mean, no one ever expects level up, level four at all with a long sword. It's like the Spanish Inquisition; it just shows up. To rest in mind, I've heard stories of that place, and not to go in it. North Zepic Village 2 Crimlier. West Minier 8 Crimlier. Rest in mind 2 Crimlier. Sure thing. Let's go see what's in that mine. Here's the mine, and there's a dog at the mine, and that's all we need to see at the mine. So that's what's in the mine. Death. Death is in the mine. This isn't where I'm supposed to be going, but... Where's my bacon? Should have gotten bacon from that.
That led nowhere. It's up the village. Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go. Let's look around a little more. See you later. I'll see if I can catch you and yours before I go to work next couple of days or so. I think I'm going in circles. Okay, so the maps are nice and big, but they're also kind of empty except for enemies. I guess that's the older design. Nowadays, you make all these dead ends, and they kind of need to have something in them. Village. Out in the western fields, there are two giant trees. One is toward the south, and the other is to the west of the old mine. When I was young, I used to go out and pick delicious fruit all the time. Wish I could do that again. One is toward the south, and the other is west of the old mine. Those the trees that that one dude was talking about that he wanted to eat the fruit. Let's go take a look. If not, we'll just reload the save and come back here. Go south. No. great tree, so I guess it has to be something bigger than the normal ones. These are all adorable. So how far south are we talking here?
seeing a lot of trees. I'm not seeing any. There we go. Go to tree. It's a pretty great tree. A seed so I can go give to that dude. See what he gives me. Okay. Seriously? God damn it. Okay, and the other one was to the west of the cave, the cave, the mine. Bestiary potion. Blessed by a priest gives insight on defeated enemies. West of the mine, I look for the other tree. Which was where we were going before, I think we just didn't go far enough. There it is. So I found both trees and no fruit or seed or whatever it was that guy was looking for. Maybe I need something to pick it. have been on a rampage there lately. I guess it's because that's where all the rich folks live. Makes sense. Have you been to Lakeshore? It's so pretty. You should go see it for yourself sometime. The pier especially is a perfect spot for bar basking in the sun. Yes, me, it's trouble. So many elderly people here were sitting ducks and ghouls should come knocking. We haven't been attacked yet. Not even once. Supposedly all thanks to the village's treasure, the Silver Bell. I saw a very suspicious looking man wearing a black cape earlier. He was in an awful hurry. Ran right out of town to the north. There's nothing up there but monsters and thieves. I wonder if he fell into either category. Everyone hates the thieves, but their leader, Goban, is a really great man. Once, when I was under attack, he came to my aid. 
Saved my life, he did. Is the doctor really a thief? We should keep away from the shrine of the mountain. They say it's haunted by hooded ghouls. Those who went to the shrine are doomed never to return again. A strange old woman named Jebba lives in this village. When I was young, she told me all about the history of Asteria. Long ago, this was a bigger and lovelier country ruled by two goddesses. You're not from Asteria. Who are you? No one has ever made it past the storm wall. If you feel like you need some guidance, I recommend paying a visit to the fortune teller in Minia. Oh crap, I forgot to go to the fortune teller. Back in my mining days, I once came across an old chamber filled with light. Therein, I saw the most beautiful statues of two goddesses. It felt sacred, like I was looking on the guardian spirits of the mine. Since then, we miners have been praying every day. One day, one of the goddess statues just disappeared without a trace. We all took that to be an omen, but what does it mean? Okay, that was... Yeah, got, gotcha. Oh, young man, where did you come from? Ah, from Barbado. You know Dr. Blue know that. Good, good. I have something to tell you. You must promise me you will not let the villagers know about it. You keep this conversation between us. Yes. This village's term of protection, the Silver Bell, has been stolen by the thieves. I desperately wish to get it back. If worst comes to worst, I'll pay them any price the thieves may ask. You negotiate with them on my behalf. I'd ask the villagers, but they simply mustn't know of this. Thank you so much. Thieves' Den is north of the village on the mountain road. Meet their leader. Please tell him I'll pay whatever price he asks for the bell. Counting on you, young sir. He just disappeared again. He can be so thoughtless sometimes. His lovely wife is quite worried about him. I wish I had a cute girlfriend to worry about me if I suddenly vanished. The mayor is acting quite suspect. He keeps wandering around the village, muttering something under his breath. Something about giving the thieves everything he owns and hoping that's enough. What is that about? Okay, you're the statue guy. No, I already talked to you. I'm just trying to get past. I don't want to talk. Sleepwalking again. Where on earth can he be this time? Out of the blue, the thieves' den was established next to Dawn Tower. I hear it was built there to block up the entrance. Not that I mind having thieves between me and that accursed tower, but why? Why would they set up in such a place? Uh, have I been in here? Yes. Mayor. I talk to you. No. When I was young, I used to archive historical documents. One of them tells of two goddesses who saved the country from a great cataclysm. If such goddesses truly existed, we wouldn't have to live in fear of those accursed monsters. That's everybody. I need to go back and talk to the fortune teller because that completely slipped my mind after I got equipped like I was supposed to.
Alright, what did you want? Oh my, it's you. You are not from Hysteria, correct? But you come here by crossing the storm wall. Goddesses, thank you. I've waited for so long for this day. You are the one whom I've been seeking. Truthfully, I must beg a favor of you, swordsman. Tell me, are you familiar with the Book of East? No. East was the name of an ancient kingdom that existed here ages ago. Those, the lost history of the land is written within the Book of East. It is unknown, however, who actually inscribed their words. But the six books detail the reason for East's fall from grace. My crystal ball tells me that one of the books is in the mountain shrine. Swordsman, will you seek the books? Yes, I will. You will? Ah, Swordsman, you are truly the man I've been seeking. Thank you so very, very much. Please, take this with you. It will show you the way within the shrine. First, please visit Jeba in the village of Sepik. She is my aunt. She knows a great deal about the history of East. I am certain she will be of aid to you. Sepik village is to the northeast, just outside of Menea. You'll pass through it on the way to the shrine. Actually, I probably should buy some medicine. Probably need it if there's a boss battle or something. Where was the nurse? Okay, hey, yeah, I've talked to you before. You're blocking my way. Where was the nurse? It's a tavern. Here we go. Dogs out in the field are called rebolds. They're extremely fast to take heat around them. I got surrounded by a whole herd of them, so I came to be in the state. I managed to slip away and run to the big tree in the field. For some reason, the rebolds turned back at that point. The result, I'm still alive. Not too much worse than wearer. But I do wonder it was that drove them away. Records must double down. Where did I get hurt, you ask? In my own home. That's where it was. I was attacked. He hit me from behind, so I didn't see his face, but I'll bet anything was one of those damn thieves. He stole the silver shield that's been in my family for countless generations. And it tucked away in a corner of my own storeroom. It probably wasn't worth much, but even so, it's the idea. Save me. This is no puppy. It's a, it's a rebel. All right, back to Zephyr.
talk to Zeba. Zeba, whatever. Yep, that's the mayor. Sarah's crystal. I see. To you, the swordsman Sarah has been seeking all this time. Intent to find the Book of East within the shrine, do you? I believe you'll be needing this key then. The ruins atop the mountain were once known as Solomon's Shrine. One of the Books of East is there, but will no doubt be somewhere in the shrine's lower levels. The entrance to the lower levels is well hidden, but that crystal will show you the way. Virtually anything may await you in there, however. Make certain you're well prepared before you go. second layer. So we level. We're real close. Two more. There we go. is not like the other way. Set in golds, conditions virtually flawless. I guess used to be de to be determined. Got 
I'm sure there was probably some kind of strategy to that boss fight, but I just kind of overpowered my way through it. So, grinding has its benefits. Wow, you don't... Okay, you only regen on the overworld. That's... That's something I, I didn't realize. Need to be a little more careful then. some kind of lock picking tool because there's a whole bunch of lock shit in here. things do a ridiculous amount of damage. some better armor. Thank you. 
wonder if this guy will buy that ruby. Because he wouldn't buy equipment. Where does it say what my level is? Okay. Level six. This is supposed to be a short game, so I wonder what max level is. So the prison key does not open those. worth it. I can kill those guys in one hit now. Treasure box key. Okay, that's what I needed.
getting a lot of keys, and I haven't been able to use any of them yet. are starting to hurt again. A lot. those prison cells that I came across before. Set Jade hides enemies but reveals secrets. slow.
I can heal here. Okay. Consciousness. Edel felt her forehead and confirmed she had a fever. Luckily, Jebba's house was very close. Edel gently lifted Fina over his shoulder and promptly carried her to Jebba's. She's sleeping well. Medicine should help. Had a good night's rest and she should be fine by morning. Still, no matter how you look at it, it's a very strange story. Sacred inner sanctum, sealed under the shrine for so long, becoming home to monsters. A girl in prison there, no less. So much of this is simply doesn't add up. This has seemed to have kicked in, Fina's breathing was steady, and her fever had subsided. Silver bell, so he can cut his shit. Oh my, it's the silver bell. Was it the thieves? Are they the ones who retrieved it from? What's that? Thieves didn't have it? It was beneath the old shrine? I'm confused. Why in the world would it have been there? Well, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is, it's been returned. We're safe again. Thank you so much, adventure. As a token of my appreciation, I give you this ring. Wear it well. Power ring. It's a family heirloom with mystical properties. I believe it will prove very useful to you. Bronze ring that fully doubles the wearer's strength. Also check up on the girl. See if she says anything about her father having the well about us helping her father. Which one was she? No, it's not here. But we can check up on those seeds. Rotatree's Mysterium. I've never heard of a Rotatree before. It seems to sense me one of the finest delicacies in the world. And I'd love to taste one just once before I die. Don't suppose you've come across any, have you? I mean, I came across a tree.
Little shield is made with leather wired into the frame. It's light and protects splendidly. Steel is durable and stand up to any attack for an item. 6,000. So, 11,000 to get the level 3 armor, and who knows how much the sword is, unless he's decided to actually sell it now. upgrade an armor. Still no idea how much it'll cost to upgrade weapon. So where was that girl that was talking about her mayor? <sighs> Think that was her? Swordsman, have you found any of the books of East? Is that a girl in prison between the mountain shrine? Can't be. Swordsman, our time grows short. Please find the book of East locked within that shrine. I'll explain more afterwards. his silver bell. Thank you so much, kindly adventurer. We owe you our lives. Oh, just, just a slightly different dialogue. Check to make sure I haven't missed any of the treasure chests. Like this one. Necklace. Old necks adorned with countless small rubies and patterns. 
that's just money. If I find another healing potion, I can't use it.
secret on the previous floors? between either more damage or more defense.
You're either brave or stupid, kid. Why have you come here? Tell me you actually came here to hunt us down all by yourself. What do you mean we're rampaging through the city, stealing everybody's silver? Some kind of joke? You got it all wrong, kid. Believe it or not, there really is honor among thieves. We only steal from those who make their money by the blood and sweat of honest workers. The stolen silver you're after, look around you. Not a trace of it here. All of ours was stolen, too. If we ever find the culprit, he's gonna pay dearly. You can be sure of that. Secrets. I got it. Okay. So I got it here, and then this sends me back. Actually, no, I got it in jail, so.
had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. stopped and I'm tired so my brain's not working so even if there's a simple solution here I'm not seeing it so I'm gonna go ahead and end here I'll probably look up exactly what it is I'm supposed to do to progress and we can pick this up tomorrow so until then